In this session, I'll be covering how to create a scrollable table. So this would be useful in as a dashboard if you're doing analysis. What this table does, it, it shows a large amount of data uh, for users, but only in a small view. So for example, let's say we have this, this data that's about 50 rows deep. And we don't want to really show uh, users all this data and have them kind of scroll through down. If this was a hundred rows or maybe a thousand rows deep, we wouldn't want to show that. We want to kind of show a more concise view, maybe just 10 rows deep, but allow somebody to go ahead and scroll through it to see the data they want to see. So like, for example, we have item number 50 here with January sales 223 and 72, which matches down here. And that's kind of a nice way to see that. Uh, in a concise view. By the way, uh, I got this idea from a website called chandu.org. Just want to give a shout out to that uh, site. Folks on that site are providing some really good data on Excel. So just want to give them props. So let's go and show you how you do this. So basically it's it's being done with uh, scroll form control and off, also the offset function. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. Let me go ahead and just delete this data select it and delete it and let's get rid of this control and we'll start from scratch so there's nothing here the first thing we want to do is this is being done actually in Excel 2007 so we go to the develop, developer tag and insert a form a scroll bar form control so go ahead and click that and what we can do here is we we draw it in but you see as I draw it in it's kind of a little, a little difficult to really draw that in to make sure it kind of doesn't overlap or underlap the cell here. So let me go ahead and undo that. The way that easily do that, let's go back and select the control here, is while we're drawing that in, press the Alt key. And as we draw that in, see how it kind of nicely just fits into each adjacent cell as we go down? That's what the Alt key does. It makes it fit right into the cells. Now, once we've finished drawing the scroll bar form, right click it and go under format control and we're going to change some of the values here so the current value we're going to start at one and the minimum value is going to be one of course and with the maximum value we've got 50 rows of data but we're going to start at 41 because what we're doing here is each page chain page change is going to be uh, 10 uh, it's going to be in increments of 10 right so once we add if we do 50, if we put 50 here, and once we get to the bottom, when we scroll down, it's going to have zeros and it's going to go for another page change of about 10 rows. So what we're going to do is just put 41 and the, each increment, it's going to be of one row. And for the cell link, what we're going to do is we're going to link it to the data tab here, the cell, let me scroll up here, the cell right here. This is going to be the item number position. And I'll kind of explain that later on once I get into the offset function. Click OK. And here we have our scroll bar. Now we're going to go ahead and put the offset function and start populating the values in here. Type in equal offset. The first value is the reference. And so we're going to reference where we're going to start the um, where we're going to start this offset function. So we're going to start that offset function starting with the header, uh, B3. Put a comma, and then how many rows do we want to go down or up? So we want to go down from this offset starting position. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose this cell, which is going to be referenced from the scroll bar. So when we go up and down, hit the up and down arrows in the scroll bar, it's going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or backwards 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and this number is going to change in as it corresponds with the movement of those uh, scroll bar arrows. And what I want to do is also make that an absolute reference, so I'll press F, F4 to lock it in so you see the dollar signs before the letter and the number. And for the columns, I don't want that to change, we're going to stick in the same column, so make that a 0. And for the height and width, we don't we're, we're not we're, we are not scaling that to a range uh, of a certain height row height or a width so the defaults would be one so we can just go ahead and close parentheses and press enter and that's going to select that go ahead and 
click on the fill handle down here and copy it down you'll see that it will take the values from the other tab here one two three four five seven nine ten and what we can do is also move it across and you'll see that it takes the values from there too so what it actually did so I'll kind of show a short example now of how the scroll bar works see how see now if we scroll down it takes the values from 15 16 17 in increments of 1 and here we see that our item is number 21 so when we scroll down this took an increment value of 1 each time and you can see in the data tab that it did that so I remove it one more time it would it could it should increment it to 17 and here we go we've got 17 so let's go back to our dashboard tab and we'll go ahead and copy this offset function over to these other cells so what I'm gonna do is basically just make a copy of this this formula control C press escape so I'm not in the edit mode anymore click over in January click up here in this field and go ahead and control V and basically I don't I want it to start off to the reference where January is so that's gonna be cell in here it's gonna be cell D3 let me just go ahead and change that to cell D3 press control enter so it stays within there and let me just go go back up to the first first item number and we see January 2, 2, 288 so 288 should be the sale for for that particular month and it is so what we can go ahead and just go ahead and select the fill handle and copy it down and the cross and we'll see here it's filled out product 10 254 to 37 let's just do a little bit of validation here 254 to 37 and as we scroll down we'll see that the values change accordingly and let's go all the way down to product 50 we got 50 here 223 to 72 223 to 72 should be here 272 and voila so that is how we create our little scrollable table in Excel 2007 very nice feature that you can put on a dashboard very small and compact instead of showing that huge table here we can show a small table here where you can just scroll back and forth hope this helps thanks for watching